Uh, here's the details. It's located two miles west of the Porcupine Mountain State Park. The proposal is for 500 acres of underground workings, a 200 acre tailings pond with a 150 foot high berm. Now, I never counted. How many, how many stories is this building? Three. Three. Three? three. So this building is maybe 50 feet tall. So the berms are going to be three times as big as this building is. That's, that is, and they're doing that to minimize the impact to wetlands, to aquatic resources. They're actually going to be digging down into the clay that's there so that some of the tailings will be subterranean and then going up high so to minimize their footprint. Uh, the streams near there have red-sided dace in them, which is a, a state-threatened species. It's a mineral. It, they're, they're not that uncommon in, in Wisconsin, and in fact, they're sold as bait fish, and the operable theory is that they got into those streams when some people from Wisconsin went up there fishing and dumped their buckets. They're really far outside their normal range. Uh, and I figured it had to be that the guys from Wisconsin were fishing. Hopefully no one's from Wisconsin here. Be because those streams uh, dry up in the summer. Uh, I don't know what they were fishing for. <laughs> The, the wastewater treatment that's proposed is reverse osmosis. And I, I made the mistake when I was on site with the project manager of asking him why reverse osmosis, the white pine mine, got by with plain settling. And, and it's a very similar, uh, it's, it's basically the same deposit that they're mining. He reminded me that the state uh, law now requires if you're new discharge, you have to meet uh, the mercury standard of 1.3 nanograms per liter and that the rain that falls on this property has 10 nanograms per liter, so he's got to clean up the rain before he discharges it. I won't ask him that again. <laughs> again, this decision uh, on, on this mine is, is probably about six months out. 